On today's show, Instagram Direct, Wireless Charging Alliances come together, SteamOS, Elder Scrolls Online's release date, and the winner of that crazy red Mac Pro auction is revealed. It's Buffalo Bulletin time. Hello, Internet, and welcome to the Buffalo Bulletin, where we recap five major stories from our site, technobuffalo.com, every Tuesday and Friday. If you're interested in reading more about any story mentioned on the show, check the description for links or click on the graphics for each story if you have annotations available and toggled on. I'm Ashley Skeba. Here are your top stories. Well, Instagram held their press event yesterday and revealed their newest feature. No, it's not a first-party printing service or a native tablet app like a lot of people wanted. It's a direct messaging service. Instagram Direct is a messenger that allows you to send photos to your friends directly through the app. It works similar to Twitter in that you can only send pics directly if the recipient follows you, but there's no text-only option. Uh, this appears to be aimed at competing with Snapchat, but time's gonna tell on this one. Wireless charging seems pretty cool, but it's also a little bit frustrating. There are so many different groups with wireless chargers. There is the Wireless Power Consortium, the Power Matters Alliance, and the Alliance for Wireless Power. Now that last group, A4WP for short, officially launched Resonance this week, which is hoping to be the future standard for wireless charging. There are over 70 big companies already on board, including Samsung, LG, HTC, and Qualcomm, so maybe we will see Resonance grab a solid hold in the market. Over in gaming, 300 very lucky beta participants will be receiving their Steam machines over the next few days, with Steam OS already pre-installed on the rigs. Steam OS will also be available for download today, but there's a catch. According to Valve, getting Steam OS up and running will be pretty tough, quote, unless you're an intrepid Linux hacker already. Those are their words. So I'm sorry if I just burst your Steam bubble. Those of us not blessed with epic, mad Linux skills will likely be waiting until later next year to try Steam OS out. Hotly anticipated MMO, The Elder Scrolls Online, finally got a release date this week for both PC and console. If you're using a PC or a Mac to play, you'll be able to grab ESO on April 4th of next year. If you're on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, you'll have to wait a little bit longer, June to be exact. Uh, there's also a new PvP trailer online, and it is delightful. It shows Civil War, long intense stares at people, dragons, magic fireballs, and more. We'll all be adventurers this spring, pretty much, at least until we take an arrow to the knee. Lastly, our wildcard story for the day reveals the auction winner for the almost million dollar red Mac Pro and also the $461,000 rose gold ear pods. It's actually the same guy who won both auctions and that guy is none other than former Apple Vice President Tony Fidel. If you're not familiar with his name, you definitely know his work. This is the guy who helped bring the iPod to the masses and more recently he co-created the Nest thermostat. It's pretty cool that he purchased those things, but for me, the best part is that over $1.4 million from those two auctions went to charity. Well, that is the Buffalo Bulletin for today. If you enjoyed the show, give us a thumbs up. That would be awesome. And if you want more great Techno Buffalo video content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking this giant subscribe button. See you guys next time.